throw away batteries like at, every day and when they're dead you, ju you just throw them away you can buy rechargeable batteries but uh, if you don't have any that's bad luck but i have a solution for that so we are going to be charging regular duracell batteries uh, you, you can charge with any batteries, uh, like right here. Uh, this is my solution. So this is a D4 battery, the blue one, D4, uh, electro, electrical tape, and uh, some regular AAAs, AAA batteries. And uh, that's my solution. Uh, so the current passes through. Uh, you and you can't fully charge a dead battery, but you can charge it halfway or like seventy five percent of it. You can't charge it all away though. And bye. super low batteries um, and like they're technically dead and we have these two brand new ones d4 ones and we're gonna I'm, or I'm gonna attach these uh, these two batteries to and then with electric tape so then it'll pass through um, electricity and we're gonna do the same thing with this one but it's only one and yeah Grandpa, uh, can you tell me the answer of uh, what's the difference of a rechargeable battery and a non-rechargeable battery? Okay, well, the, the difference is, of course, defined as primary non-rechargeable based on the type of material it's made from. A common one today is lead, lead zinc, I mean carbon zinc, pardon me, uh, type battery which does not recharge. Uh, of course, all batteries will recharge a little bit if you force voltage back into them, but it won't recharge on a practical basis. And then you've got secondary type batteries. Uh, alkaline has a little bit of recharge capability, and lithium ion, and uh, there's another one that has rechargeable capability. And your lead acid in, the, in your automobile. Is another one that recharges, uh, and all of those are called secondary cells. Do, do you buy uh, any rechargeable batteries, Grandpa? Do we try it again? Do we what? Do, do, do you buy rechargeable batteries? Usually I do. There's uh, when it's a, uh, when it's for a device that's constantly used, so that saves the cost of the batteries. Recharging okay. saves a lot of. Number one, it saves a lot of batteries. Number two, we can reuse the batteries over and over again. So that's a good reason to buy rechargeables. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Like, Why do you think people don't buy rechargeable batteries? The primary reason, uh, twofold. Uh, some don't quite know how to charge them, and some units don't charge them properly. So you have to make sure the equipment you're putting them in will accept them. And most rechargeables are 1.2 volts, not 1.5. So you got to make sure that that adjusts for the voltage difference. So you can't just arbitrarily put batteries in, rechargeable batteries in where, where non-rechargeables were. Okay. So it's very important to observe uh, that. How do you think my uh, experiment uh, with taping the batteries uh, um, will, will it work or no? Well, because I don't know what your electrical circuit is, taping does nothing, quite frankly. So if you want to charge a battery, you have to go to hook a power source, such as a solar cell, such as a transformer with rectified voltage coming from it, 
or something of that nature to put the voltage back into your battery. So okay. you need more than just a battery, you need a source of power to charge with. Okay. And then you have to electrically connect to it together. And Grandpa, thank you for your time on answering the questions. Well, you're certainly welcome anytime. Thank you. Okay.